a fundamental tenet of being a science advisor is that the science has to serve the story. If the science doesn't serve the story, you either bend the science a little bit or you find a different science. So science serves the story always. The cool thing about that though is by work, virtue of working on a, a popular science fiction TV series, you get to do conventions and talks and then you get to set the record straight and talk about real science to people. That's one of the cool byproducts of, of working in, in the entertainment industry and by being a science advisor. Anybody who grew up watching the original Star Trek wanted to be Captain Kirk or Spock or Bones. And when you look in the evening sky, some of those places are places that they've been. And you have mentally been there with them. So you look up and you, you look into Orion and you see Rigel. How many times did they go to Rigel? You look in the night sky and you see places that you have been in science fiction and you can't help but be excited by saying, I have been there with Orphan Scott Card. I have been there with Larry Niven. It's exciting. I'm Kevin Grazier and I'm fracking chasing Atlantis. Sorry, that's, I'll do another one. I think that's great. <laughs> I'm trying to be using that one for sure. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.